Hello everyone, this is Fatila Lohar, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communications at Engineering College Jalawal. The E-Lecture 12 is prepared for RT Syllabus, Radar and TV Engineering for 8th uh, semester EC student. Okay. In last lectures, we have discussed the color scheme of TV signals. Okay. So, we have discussed uh, chrominance modulations okay generation of the b y signal and r y signal along with the luminance signal y okay and second thing we we have discussed the generation of the different color from the chrominance signal c okay so in this lecture we will going to discuss the interference in TV signals so type of the interference generated by the TV signals so we will discuss first <coughs> type of the propagation for TV signal okay. so depending of the uh, wavelength and distance between transmitter and receiver so there are the three type of the uh, propagations. First is ground wave propagation, second is space wave propagation, and third is sky wave propagation. Okay. And this is the basic monochrome TV transmitter sections we have already discussed in previous lectures. So first is the sound signals. Okay. The sound signal is amplifier by the audio amplifier and then modulated by the FM modulator and then transmit the sound transmitter okay and second thing light signal basically the image signals the audio video signals the TV uh, camera record the uh, these light signals and then send to the video amplifier and the video amplifier video signal is um, modulated by the amplitude modulator so modulating signal and this is the scanning and synchronized signals we also send along with the in TV signals amplitude uh, video signals ok and this is the crystal oscillator we generate the carrier, carrier frequency ok and then it's amplify the signal ok so here combining network it combines the all the signals sound signals video signal scanning and synchronizing signals okay and then transmit to the antenna antenna radiate in the space okay so in free space the radio wave propagation is three type of the propagations first is ground wave propagation second is space wave propagation third is sky wave propagation the type of the Propagation for signal, TV signal, depend on the transmitting and receiving distance and wavelength of the TV signal. Okay. Now we discuss the interference suffered by the carrier signal. Okay. So when the interference signal has a frequency that lie within the frequency band to which a television receiver is tuned. The amount of interference depends on the strength of the transmitting signal and the interfering signal. The interfering signal can be generated from other televisions. Okay. The interference can be further divided into the three parts. First is co-channel interference. Okay. In co-channel interference, the two television stations operating at the same frequency and very close to each other will interfere with each other. This type of the interference is defined as co-channel interference. Okay. When the two different television signals have the same frequency, then generate the co-channel interference. When the two signals strength in area 
which which is almost equivalent from two co channel station become equal then the interference occur as ventians blind interference in this conditions horizontal black and white bars superimpose on the pictures are produced this horizontal black and white bars tend to move up or down on the pictures this bar become more prominent if the strength of the interference signals increases so in tv screen you can see black and white bar is occur horizontal black and bar black and white bar is occur and move up and down so this type of the interference due to the co channel interference okay second thing is ghost interference ghost interference due to the multi path propagation of the signal because between the transmitting and receiving they are the multi path object okay when the electromagnetic wave propagate in the free space from the transmitter to the receiver the signal may reflect from the supper of the building trees hills tower extra the signal which propagate from transmitter to the receiver without reflecting is known as direct signal <coughs> okay without reflecting signal from directly propagate from transmitter to the receiver this is direct path okay if the reflection of the signal occur from any object the signal is known as a reflected signal so this is this signal is reflected from the building and this signal reflected from the hills so this kind of the signal is known as a reflected signal the reflected path of the signal is longer than the direct path so is this is the shortest path from transmitter to receiver this is the direct path but the path is increases due to the reflection from the object so is known as a reflected signal the reflected path of the signal is longer than the direct path so that reflected signals take longer time to arrive at the receiver okay the ghost inter interference occur due to the multi path propagation of the signal from transmitter to the receiver okay this is a direct path okay and this is a multi reflected path from the hills and uh, from the so the path distance is more from the direct path okay so duration of the signal propagation is more from the direct path so direct path signal reach at receiver is fast from the repeated signal <coughs> okay the ghost interference is further divided into the two types first is trailing ghost interference and second is leading ghost interference trailing ghost interference meaning the direct signal is usually stronger than the repeated signal hence it assume that the control of the synchronizing circuitry the picture due to the repeated signals that arrive late appear display to the right with respect to the pictures created by the direct signal <coughs> this display picture is known as trailing ghost picture okay so direct signal is usually stronger than the repeated signal so direct signal is used for the synchronizing circuitry okay the picture due to the repeated signal that arrive late basically the repeated signal is take more time compared to the direct signal direct direct signal is uh, reach fast compared to the repeated signal in that case the repeated signal reach late compared to the direct signal in that case the, it generate the ghost image trailing ghost image the image is generated to the trailing ghost image similarly for second case leading ghost interference in that case if the direct signal is weak compared to the repeated signal okay 
if the direct signal is weaker than the repeater signal then the repeater signal assume the control of the synchronized circuitry yeah, in that case in previous case trailing case uh, direct case direct signal is assume as a synchronizing circuit tree but in that case repeating signal is assume as synchronizing circuitry the ghost picture is now generated by the direct signal and picture is now generated by the direct signal okay and is appear display to left with the respect to the picture created by the repeater signal so due to the the image ghost image generated due to the direct signal in that case but in previous case this ghost image is generated due to the reflection signal okay and in that case the ghost image generated due to the direct signal okay and picture is now generated by the wait the direct signal n is appear displayed left with respect to the rest created by the repeater signal this is known as leading ghost pictures okay if the strength of the direct signal and repeater signal is very continuously then the first one and then the other one assume the control of the receiver synchronizing circuitry has the ghost image switch from leading ghost to trailing ghost images or yeah vice versa at a very fast rate this is a very anonym problem